Monday morning, Privateer FX fans. Here at the European Open, London gets in about 45 minutes. Let's go see what we've got on the charts here and go through the news a bit. This chart is a nice one here, this dollar yen chart. We're trading at 22 now. The high overnight has been 27. Low has been 05, we'll call it. You could, you could argue that pre-open it traded at 01, but it's a pretty tight range, 05, 27. But as you can see with this downward sloping line here, uh, a lot of people will have this line drawn and therefore a lot of people are going to trade it if it breaks. Uh, so let's keep in mind this line here. 113.31, we're thinking is the point. 10 years are at 123.15. Keep in mind this 10 year yield at 250 is a big deal for, for the uh, fixed income people. So. Yield through 250 is going to be a big dollar boost across the board. So keep that in mind. Let's go to the euro. We've been down to 12, up to 52 today. We're just basically waiting for 120 to break, right? I mean, uh, 120.02 was the low the other day. Uh, we're now far away. It's now distant to this 120.90 point, but this is what defines it. 120.90 or 120 the figure. Looks like 120 the figure is going to trade today. One of the reasons that we're a little bit tentative, even though we're leaning for a higher dollar this morning, is that Dollar Swiss is doing nothing. Um, sort of confusing as always, sort of does its own thing. Um, but we would like to see Dollar Swiss up in that 85.90 area, uh, or at least making some sort of bullish action towards that way to give us a little more credibility, give the move a little more credibility, Euro down, Dollar Yen up. But we'll see. Still, uh, still 40 minutes till London gets in. Um, so we'll have to see about that. Cable. 135 the figure, big psychological number, still important, sort of dancing to its own tune here, somehow we went up to uh, 86, as we said on Friday, this bar here, the second bar, or the third day of the year is now defining it, through that top side, We'll call it 136.15 or through 135. The figure defines it. Working in conjunction with what we're doing in Euro and what we're looking at in Dollar Yen, you can see this sort of same type of pattern um, has developed. We have these firm top side levels and we have these big round numbers on the downside. These are the triggers for trades. Let's look at uh, gold, not much going on here, but we're lingering up at the highs. Not much to say about gold here, really. Bitcoin, over the weekend we were up at 17.2, back down at 15.8. Bitcoin's become quite boring, which is kind of weird to say, but it's still, you know, average true range. Um, it's still 1600 bucks. So, it does move around, I guess. It just seems more boring. I guess it's 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 sort of almost binary. You either get like a $4,000 day or, or like a $1,100 day. But we saw some pretty good bullish action up to 17.2. But we're totally mid-range here, so there's nothing to do. Uh, ether just keeps chugging. If you do believe this is the infrastructure for the new blockchain, 
there's no reason this is going to stop anytime soon. Nice little break trade at 10.28 for those for those who watch this stuff. Let's see what our little favorite Nimic is doing. Eight bucks, ridiculous. It's hard to even uh, comment on this. The volatility is so big. 721 now the high was <laughs> high was 820 up a cool 40 percent anyway um, ethereum is looking very 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 strong uh, bitcoins holding up the press is now really buying into this it's still such so early so early in the game here, but the bias is right hand cryptos this week, starting the week based on basically news and price. So, break trade to the right, or stick low ones in on the left hand side. You don't need to. You don't need to be cute trying to buy dips on this stuff because there will be volatility downside from comments and whatnot. Let's quickly shift over. Aussie, which has been on a tear. We dogeed on Friday on a basically totally useless non farm day. 78.35 the low. Uh, today also 35 print. Let's look at that a little more closely. If you're a believer in this turn, and if you're not a believer in Aussie, uh, this might be an entry point here. 78.35. See what our pal Kiwi's doing, or Dollar Cat. Actually, Dollar Cat was a ripper on those Canadian employment numbers. Looks like they're going to raise rates in Canada, so this Dollar Cat probably has more to go today. Seventy-three fifty-five was the low Friday. Uh, there'll be risk below that today. Kiwi, not much to say, just lingering. Then going up at the top. It's going to be hard for Kiwi and Aussie to fully turn until these equities get kneecapped. And that doesn't seem to look like it's going to happen uh, at the open here. Totally overstretched in my mind. and Relatively ridiculous four day start to the year. But no trade there for us at the moment. Okay, that's about it for now. The main focus, dollar yen higher, euro dollar lower. We're keeping an eye on these bonds. And we will see you at the New York Open. Have a good Monday. Ciao.